Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today talking about what is going to happen to house prices with coronavirus. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team and thanks so much for watching. You know, today I'm going to talk and answer the question about what is happening with housing prices and the coronavirus. Many people have asked me, is this what's going to finally bring the housing prices down in Southern California? And while obviously none of us have a crystal ball, there's a couple of really basic things that we're seeing that are going to really affect that market. So I'm going to attempt to answer that question today. So first of all, back in 2007, we had a very different lending environment. Back then, basically, if you were living, breathing, you could get a loan and there were really no qualifications. So people were frequently leveraged completely 100% on their homes and had borrowed everything in order to buy that home and had zero equity. Sometimes people take out first, second, third, fourth loans just to be able to buy the property. Now, those kinds of loans obviously do not exist today. And in fact, any kind of riskier loans typically require even more and more equity. The big difference is that today, almost everybody has equity in their homes. It's been tougher to qualify for a loan. It is, people are putting a lot more money down. They're much more solid loans. So rather than go to foreclosure, many people can simply sell their home and end up with a big check. So obviously there are people who are really suffering right now who've been laid off, furloughed, and they just don't have the income coming in or maybe their business has been closed down. So that's affecting a lot of people. So that is different. However, we would have to see a significant number of people coming on the market in order for a change to happen. And that brings me to the second point of why I think the market is going to remain fairly strong in that because people have equity, they are not forced to take that low offer. So if somebody wants to sell a home, but they just want to and don't have to, they don't have to take that lower price. So people will generally just take their home off the market if they were a want to sell versus a need to sell. The third reason that I think we will see the market continue to remain strong is just a basic economic factor of supply and demand. So right now, we have in LA County 11,387 homes for sale. In Orange County, 5,179 homes for sale. And last month in LA County, 3,389 homes sold. And in Orange County, 1,667 homes sold. So what that means is a 2.2 month supply of homes for sale in LA County. And in Orange County, a 2.1 month supply of homes. So a seller's market is typically anything from a three month supply of homes on the market less. And a balanced market is three to five months of homes for sale. And a buyer's market is anything from six months up. Now we would have to have three times the amount of homes that are currently for sale come on the market in order for the market to shift that dramatically that we would have a buyer's market. That's a lot of homes for sale. So unless we see a massive shift to that and a lot of people putting on their homes on the market, I don't think we're gonna see a major drop in prices. In fact, the average sales price in LA County year over year has gone up 5.8% and in Orange County, 8.4%. So it's still been a very solid investment. If you have any questions about this, or if you're questioning whether you should sell or not in today's market, let me know. We are here to help and we are still very much working and selling homes every day. You can reach us at 562-316-2915 or you can reach me at melinda at Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.